In this video, Google Lens, how to copy handwritten text to a computer and other text and stuff. So to make this very quick and easy, we've got left hand screen on the arrow, open your Google Lens. Slide number two here in the middle is, here's a bit of awful handwriting by me called the mountain. I've found text in the image and I'm going to select all. You'll notice that I'm using two different laptops, one's an idea pad. One is the Lenovo laptop that I'm about to click on in this example and then I text into my document using say Google Docs and I've got the mountain. You'll notice there's a tiny error there with a mountain which has not recognized the A. That's why I'm making this video just to see how it works for me and therefore as an awareness video pass over to you and anybody else who watches this video. Observations. This is a two-step approach. In other words, use your phone onto your computer really quick. In my mind, there was a third step, which was, say, copying the text on your phone, maybe saving it to Google Keep or somewhere before you have it on your computer. Of course, you can have a Word document open. Sorry, a, you know, Google Docs open, but it's a bit fiddly sometimes on the mobile. Point of it, left slide. If you point your camera, in my example, using the Moto G4, it's missed off a word at the start, but you have to see how, you know, how your word, wording is and your writing is and... This one, it's done everything but the A. This one, I've, I've different styles of handwriting quite badly, but have a play around with it. I found that if I zoomed in just on parts of the text, it works OK. You'll notice all of them. You can listen to it all, which is really good. Copy to the, to the computer, as I've just said. A couple of other observations. This works excellently with, say, packets on the side of a curry sauce here, for an example. Select all, copy it over if you wish to. In my Moto phone, I've already got, of course, the Google Lens button where you might have it in your phone too. And then lastly, on the saved images screenshots on my phone, I can just open those up, hit the um, Google Lens and then go over to the text. I think it's hit the magnifying glass first and you can do exactly the same. This will save you, I would say, save you tons and tons of time. Now, what's really interesting is if I hit control to in a very, very professional manner I've gone over to the official Google Lens blog post which allows lots of other features especially on the focus of working from home and learning to pronounce things and all sorts of different things so control one he says on Chrome and then I can go back to the last bit which of course is there's the summary slide and that was me Mike Downs as always hope you get on well with this one goodbye